Brian, Lauren, I spoke with a couple of people in Crosby 10 and many of them said that they did have their power back on, but not consistently. Not only were they confused about losing power the first time, but also about losing it more than once. It's actually not going to be restored until 9.15 a.m. Samantha Santos, like many of the locals in Crosby 10, woke up without power. XL Energy sent out a message notifying customers service was interrupted because of an animal causing damage. Santos runs and owns a daycare. She pushed back her operating hours until power came back on, only to have it go out again. I didn't even receive a notice from XL that our power was out this last time. Santos was just about to make lunch for the kids when they lost power for the second time. Worried about everyone's safety, Santos began calling parents until the lights flickered back on again. So hopefully I can get lunch out there to them. Hopefully it stays cool. Hopefully the parents were able to leave work and come get them for the day. If not, then it's kind of gonna go this back and forth thing. Santos isn't the only one confused about what's going on. Randy Alonzo said he also lost power more than once. On 11.30, everything shut off again. So then it kicked back on for about maybe two minutes and then we're out again. Alonzo said the notification didn't offer much of an explanation as to what caused the power to go out the first time, let alone why it happened again. And when asked if he got another notification from Excel Energy. No, there was no notifications. We, we still haven't received anything. You know, if they, they, that they're running tests or, or anything. I also spoke with a parent who told me that she left work early and saw employees sitting in their cars in the parking lot blasting their AC. Now, Excel Energy does say that most of the power should be back on and that they are